So I had to rock my pro black shirt today and this shirt is a joke. Nobody's perfect. And this is especially true in the eyes of people like Joe Biden because yesterday during his presidential town hall, he slipped up and told the truth about how he really feels, what he really thinks of not only black people, but people of color in general. And make sure you hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Also, make sure you click on my link fly. I always link at the top of my description box of all my videos. Click on that, subscribe to me on my various social media platforms. And jumping right into this story, man. And of course, I'm gonna play the footage for you guys. It's only about a 30 second clip, but it was aired on CNN and during his presidential town hall meeting where he was just going over his plans moving forward. And of course, liberal media, liberals in general, progressives, people on the left, they completely gloss over what was said. And it was only a 30 second clip capturing exactly what he truly thinks. Because every now and then, when you are speaking at length, how you really feel about something will come out. Especially if it is a live, presentation i have to highlight the fact that donald trump he never had situations like this he never had moments where he slipped up and told the truth about how he really felt about different groups of people he didn't have those types of slip ups and he was the one that was demonized being called a racist with not much evidence to suggest so especially in comparison to a Joe Biden, because Joe Biden has significantly more evidence to, to suggest that he thinks lesser of people of color. You ain't black if you don't vote for me. And liberals totally look the other way like he never said it. Oh, that's no problem. He's right. A lot of people on the left, they did not highlight that. And we have to point this out because this really shows the lack of sincerity when it comes to a lot of people on the left because if they truly cared about combating white supremacy, they would combat it with in their own side. But we see that they don't do that. We see that they allow someone to use talking points while not actually living up to what he is suggesting. So Joe Biden did touch on white supremacy during that presidential town hall meeting, but he did, but he himself displayed how he sees other people of different color lesser than himself. I don't think just because of a person's color, they're less capable or more capable. But on the left, they will suggest that you are less capable. And we will see that with this clip. So this is what Joe Biden truly thinks of people of color. The, uh, the other part portion is a lot of people don't know how to register. Not everybody in the community, in the Hispanic and the African-American community, particularly in uh, uh, rural areas that are distant and or inner city districts, know how to use know how to get online to determine how to get in line for that do you realize what he just said he even said inner city people of color so city black folks city latinos not even people that are just rural because he might have tried to use that. Oh, yeah, maybe they're not used to technology because they live in rural areas, even though that's not even true. Because we live in a technology age where it's not uncommon to see a four year old with a tablet and they know exactly how to use it. They know they know how to unlock it with somebody else's face. So that's not uncommon. Do you realize he just said 
that you might not you may you might not have the capabilities to get online and register for something and see the left does this all the time all the time where they let it be known hey uh they really are looking down on you they are truly looking down on you hey little guy i don't think you're capable of getting online and signing up for something so you know we're gonna have to really help you out little guy and this is how they speak to grown adults this is the left this is how they view people of color this is what this is how joe biden views people of color covid vaccination at the at the walgreens or at at, at the particular store the, uh, the so there you have it he's saying you might not have the intellect to register Register to get your vaccine at Walmart. You, you might not be able to do that. You might not have the intelligence. That's what he's suggesting. And this needs to be talked about more because people like Joe Biden, people that actually have way more on his resume to suggest that he looks down on people of color than someone like a Donald Trump. Joe Biden had a mentor who was a ranked Klan member, Robert Byrd. This is a fact. He spoke at Robert Byrd's eulogy. People on the left, they act like they don't see that. They act like, oh, it don't matter. He spoke at his eulogy. I believe this was in like 2009, 2010. So Joe Biden it was very, very much so grown. So he was an elder at that point. So this whole, because some people on the left will say, oh, Joe Biden, that's how we used to think. That whole busing thing, that whole helping, helping to prevent integration, that, that was a whole, that was a long time ago. He's changed. Um, he still spoke at Robert Byrd's eulogy uh, like 10 years ago. And he was an elderly man at that point. He still said, you ain't black if you don't vote for me. That was like a couple months ago. Every chance he gets, every time you, you can catch a person like Joe Biden speaking at length, how he truly feels, it will slip out. And this is true of everybody. If you can start speaking at length, how they truly feel will come out. And show me Show me the hot mics of Donald Trump saying this in reference to people of color. If they had them, we would have seen them. We would have seen them circulating constantly. They would have constantly be bringing it up. But instead, they constantly bring up the lie that Donald Trump never spoke out against white supremacists, which you can find whole 10 minute, well, several minute long, videos of Donald Trump just denouncing just denouncing white supremacy over and over and over again repeatedly and he said it himself during the interview I, I don't know what else y'all want me to say I've been I kept saying it I keep saying it what y'all want me to say and he'll denounce it and they say oh Trump is so racist Joe Biden he'll say whatever he want to say and he'll let it slip out how I really feel about you patting you on your little head because he thinks you need a helmet. He talks to people of color as if they need a helmet, but he's not being called out by the left because a lot of people on the left, they lack in sincerity because if they had, because if they did not lack in sincerity, in sincerity, they would call it out, but we don't see them calling it out. They don't say nothing. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button and blessings to you.